Hi class, welcome back to our virtual classroom. And today what I'm going to show you is how to multiply fractions. So last time we're done with addition and subtraction of fractions. So ang i-review naman natin ngayon is multiplication of fractions. So lagi nating tatandaan when we multiply fractions, there are certain um instances na kailangan lang nating tandaan. It's either we are dealing with simple fractions, this one. Pag sinabi nating simple fractions, ito yung, ito yung mga fraction na kung saan ang meron lang tayo is numerator and denominator at wala tayong whole number. Mga ganyan yung mga simple fractions. And then the other scenario naman na may encounter natin is whole number and a fraction. So ayan, whole number multiplied by fraction. So kahit nasaan pa siya, kahit multiplier pa siya or, or, or multiplikan, isa lang ang rule na ginagamit natin when we deal with whole number and a fraction. And then there are also instances na kung saan mix fraction both o pwedeng whole number yung isa but the same principle can be applied. Okay? When you mastered itong tatlong ito, multiplication of simple fraction, multiplication of whole number, or multiplication of mixed fraction, definitely you can deal with the multiplication of fraction. And para sa akin, pinakamadali ang multiplication of fraction among all operations sa fraction. Kasi mas, mas, mas maraming steps ang addition and subtraction. So let's begin with... The simple fractions. Okay. So, let's have a review. Yung nasa taas, we call it the numerator. And this one, we call it the denominator. So, ang rule natin is very simple. We need to multiply both numerator and multiply both denominator. Ganun lang siya kadali. So, 1 times 3, the answer is 3. 4 times 4, the answer is 16. Okay? So, ngayon, the next step na gagawin mo is, of course, simplify the fraction. So, kapag nagsisimplify tayo ng, pra ng, ng fraction, uulitin ko, mag-iisip ka ng number na pwede mong i-divide on both numbers na ang magiging answer is whole number. So, kung mapapansin natin itong fraction na ito, hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-divide ng 2 kasi yung 3 hindi siya di Di divisible by 2. So, pwede lang natin siyang i-divide by 3, but unfortunately, yung 16, hindi siya divisible by 3. So, therefore, this is our final answer. 3 16. Hindi na natin siya kailangan pang i lowest term. Okay? Now, let's have another example. So, this one, we have the numerator are 2 and 3, so we simply multiply 2 and 3 and 3 and 5. So 2 times 3, that is 6. And 3 times 5, that is 15. Okay? Now, titingnan natin, pwede pa ba natin isimplify tong fraction na ito? So titingnan natin kung pwede natin silang i-divide sa 2. Yung 6, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 2, pero yung 15, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-divide sa 2. So, therefore, mag-iisip tayo ulit ng number. Ano pa kaya yung pwede nating i-divide yung 6 and 15? Correct. Pwede natin gamitin yung 3. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Ngayon, meron pa ba tayong number na pwedeng i-divide sa 2 and 5? Wala na. So that means this number, this fraction is the final answer, simplified fraction. So wag natin kakalimutay, kakalimutin na mag lowest term palagi. Ito yung pinaka-importante. Ano yung mga nilo-lowest term? Yung mga simple fractions, yung mga improper fractions, kailangan natin nilo-lowest term yan. Ang improper fraction, we convert it into mixed fraction para ma-lowest term siya. Or masimplify yung fraction. So, ayan. Lowest term palagi. Okay? That's how you deal with simple fractions. Now, let's move on to the next one. Multiplication of whole number and a fraction. So, dito class, as you can see, ang given natin is meron tayong whole number and meron tayong um, simple fraction. So, the idea is very simple lang dito. We need to rename the fraction. Kailangan natin i-rename yung whole number at gawin natin siyang fraction. So, paano natin gagawing whole number 
paano natin gagawin fraction yung whole number? So, simple lang. So, ang gagawin lang natin is i -re rename natin yung 12. Okay? Maglalagay lang ako ng line dyan to separate them. So, yung 12, i -re rename natin siya by putting 1 as the denominator. So, para gawin natin fraction yung whole number, ang gagawin lang natin is lagyan lang natin siya ng over 1. So, 12 over 1 times 1 fourth. Now, we have two simple fractions. Now, we can proceed to the multiplication of fractions. Ulitin natin yung rule. I-multiply natin yung numerator at i-multiply natin yung denominator. So, 12 times 1, that is 12. 1 times 4, that is 4. Okay. So, in this case, ano yung mapapansin natin? Anong number yung pwede natin i-divide sa 12 and 4? So, kung mapapansin natin, pwede natin siyang i-lowest term by dividing it to 4. Okay? Now, 12 divided by 4, that is 3. And 4 divided by 1, that is... Ay, 4, 4, 4 divided by 4, that is 1. Okay, now, what's the problem? Ito na ba yung final answer? Final answer na ba natin yan? Yes, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide dito. But, this is an improper fraction. So, kailangan natin ngayong i-convert ito into proper fraction. So, how can we do that? We need to divide numbers. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin is yung 1 ang magiging divisor natin. So, and then yung 3 yung ating magiging dividend. So, 1, um, i-ano natin to, i-multiply natin yan. Ay, i-divide natin yan. So, 1, ilan ang kasyang 1 sa 3? That's 3. So, 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Kapag wala kang remainder class, ibig sabihin niya, ang answer mo lang is the whole number 3. So, our final answer is 3. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo yung long process, but always remember, kapag ang ating, kapag ang ating numerator, ang denominator niya is 1, laging ang answer yung ating numerator. Kaya ang sagot natin is 3. Dinivide ko lang siya dito para makita niyo yung idea. Kasi kapag may remainder, ay, kapag ka, meron ka pang remainder sa ilalim dyan, magiging mixed fraction na sagot mo. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next. Ang first step natin is i -re rename natin yung number 3. Okay? So, gagawin natin siyang fraction 3 fifths times 3 over 1 equals. Pwede na natin itong i-multiply. 3 times 3, that is 9. 5 times 1, that is 5. Okay. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide sa 9 and 5. So, hindi na natin ito pwedeng i-simplify. But this is not the final answer yet. Kasi improper fractions pa, pa siya. So, most of the time, may encounter natin ng maraming improper fractions sa multiplication of fractions. Kaya, kailangan yung matutunan how to make it um, mixed number. Okay? Hindi, hindi tayo nagpa-final answer ng improper fraction. Kailangan maging mixed number yan. So, how to do that? Very simple. Um, magiging dividend natin yung 9. Magiging divisor natin yung 5. Now, ilan ang kasyang 5 sa 9? Isa lang. 1 times 5, that's 5. 9 minus 5, that's 4. So, our final answer is 1 and 4 fifth. Okay? So, wag kayong malilito dun sa arrangement. Yung ating whole number, ang ating, ang ating answer dito, siya ang magiging whole number, ang remainder ang magiging numerator, at ang ating divisor ang magiging denominator. That's why ang nakuha natin is 1 and 4 fifth. So, para hindi kayo malito, ang lagi nyo tatandaan is this shape. You start with the, um, you start with the quotient, and then yung remainder ang ating magiging denominator, numerator, at ang ating divisor ang ating magiging denominator. That's why we got 1 and 4 fifths. Okay? So, that's how you deal with multiplication of whole number and a fraction. So, kahit saan pa siya napunta, kahit na mapunta pa siya sa, sa, as a multiplicand or as a multiplier, always remember, you need to rename the whole number and make it a fraction by putting it over 1. Okay? 
Now, number three, multiplication of mixed fraction. Now, if you happen to encounter multiplication of mixed fraction, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-proceed sa multiplication of mixed fraction unless na-rename natin yung ating mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, that's the first thing you need to do. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Napag-aralan natin yan sa last week lesson natin. We simply multiply the denominator multiply natin yung denominator sa ating whole number and then we add the numerator. So, ganito yung mangyayari. 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 1, that's 3. So, isusulat lang natin as our numerator is 3 over 2. Kokopihin lang natin yung ating denominator doon. O, gawin naman natin siya sa susunod. I-rename natin to. 2 times 2, that's 4. Plus 1, that's 5. So, isusulat lang natin yung ating numerator as 5 and then ikakapi lang natin yung ating denominator which is 2. At pagka na-rename na natin, pwede na natin siyang i-multiply. So, 3 times 5, that is 15. And then 2 times 2, that is 4. Now, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide sa 15 and 4 para i-simplify pa siya so we can proceed now into converting it into mixed fraction. Ito. Kasi improper fraction siya eh. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Ang ating magiging divisor ay ang 4. Ang ating magiging dividend ay 15. Ilan ang kasyang 4 sa 15? 3. 3 times 4, that's 12. 15 minus 12. That's 3. Okay. So now, pwede na natin siyang i-arrange. So tulad na sabi ko kanina, ang magiging whole number natin ay ang ating quotient. So that's 3. Ang ating magiging numerator, ang ating remainder. So that's 3. At ang ating magiging denominator, ang ating divisor, which is 4. So that is 3 and 3 fourths. Now, this is our final answer. 3 and 3 fourths. So, kung tatandaan natin siya, 3, our quotient first, and then our remainder, and then our divisor. So, yung shape na ganito ang laging tatandaan. 3 and 3 fourths. 3 and 3 fourths. Kaya, 3 and 3 fourths siya dyan. Okay? So, that's how you deal with multiplication of fractions. Halimbawa, naka-encounter ka ng mixed fraction and a whole number. So, you need to rename both. Kailangan mong pali um, gawin mo ng improper fraction yung mixed fraction at lagyan mo ng over 1 yung 1. So, mixing these techniques, you can deal with all types of multiplication of fractions. So, that's all for our multiplication of fractions. And if you have any question, just comment it in the description box below. I mean, in the comment box. Thank you, class. Bye-bye.